welcome class this is physics form 2 and our topic today is equilibrium and center of gravity we have some tutorials for you which i hope you will enjoy what is meant by the center of gravity it's a very common question it is normally said what is meant by the center of gravity it is the point of application of the resultant force due to earth's attraction on the body it is the point of application of the resultant force due to earth's attraction on the body so you must present the response or the answer in that format the term resultant force must be there and the point Number two, state two factors that should be controlled in manufacturing of a cylindrical container of uniform thickness, which will normally be in a standing position. So, this is how we apply center of gravity in real life, in industries, manufacturing industries, when we are making cylinders, any material, there are always application of the COG. So, what should be controlled when I am manufacturing a cylinder, a cylindrical container? May it be a bucket, a tank. So long as that's a cylindrical container, what should you control? So the question is just asking factors that determine or which can increase or lower the COG, the center of gravity of a body. So the first point is length or height of the container when you make the corner as long enough with a, a large height likely you may end up with a unstable container so the length or the height should be in medium moderate height second point is width of the base or base area the wider the base the stable is the container State the reason why a steel sphere. State the reason why a steel sphere resting on horizontal position is said to be in neutral equilibrium. Remember, we have three types of equilibrium. We have stable equilibrium, unstable equilibrium, and a neutral equilibrium. So, why do you say a steel sphere, just like a ball? On horizontal surface, be it a table, then you say it is in neutral equilibrium. Why do we say so? So the response is the center of gravity of the steel ball does not change, even if it is slightly displaced. The center of gravity of the steel ball does not change, even if it is slightly displaced. So it just keep on rolling on the table, but the COG does not change number four a uniform road of negligible mass balances when weight of three newton is at point a i think you can see we have point a b and c so when you put three, dot, three newton at point a again three newton at point b and again weight w at c you can see W at C. What is the value of the weight W? What is the value of the weight W? So you have been told a negligible mass. So we ignore the mass of this road. This road, we now ignore the mass because we are told this is, it is of negligible mass. So you can see how do you go about this question. You remember the principle of moment. That sum of clockwise moment should balance the sum of anti-clockwise moment. So solution. So taking the moment about fulcrum or the pivot, fulcrum or the pivot, which is at point O. You can see at point O. This way we have the fulcrum, the pivot. So anti-clockwise moment. Moment is always force times perpendicular distance. There can be as many forces as possible. 
So the first force you can see there is 3 newton at point A. And second force is also 3 newton at point B. So the force 3 newton at point A, distance is 3 meter. The force 3 newton at point B, distance is 1 meter. And the force W at point C, distance is 3 meters. So how do we go about it? Anti-clockwise moment is now 3 times 1 plus 3 times 3 and you get 12 newton meter. That is for anti-clockwise moment. Then for clockwise moment is just 3w. You can see just w and the distance is 3. So it's just w times 3 meters. Then anti-clockwise moment equals to clockwise moment. Anti-clockwise moment equals to clockwise moment. So just balance the 3w equals to 12 newton meter and w you get as 4 newton. 4 newton. Next, study the diagram below and determine the value of x and hence the length of the bar. Study the diagram below and determine the value of x and hence the length of the bar. So we have 10 newton which is at 60 centimeter from the pivot. We also have 10 newton which is 20 centimeter from the pivot. We also have x, I mean 15 newton at distance x and also 5 newton at distance of x plus 20. You can see it is from the pivot 5 newton is x plus 20. So it just balances uh, clockwise moment equals to anti-clockwise moment. So solution, clockwise moment, moment is always force times distance. So we have 15 times x plus 5 into x times 20. Anti-clockwise moment, you also do the same. And then you balance as you say, anti-clockwise moment equals to clockwise moments. So if you do that calculations, you balance this, then you get x is 35 centimeter. So x is at 35 centimeter. If x is at 35 centimeter, then the question was length of the bar. So you add 40 plus 20 plus x, which is now 35, plus 20, plus 20. So you can see we have added them there and confirm if you are getting 115 centimeter. I have a question for you, which you have to do. Take a photo of your work and in box in the WhatsApp for marking. Consider the diagram below. The bar is of negligible mass. So you can see you have a stone put at one end and we are given the weight there, it is 20 newton distance there. So what is that effort applied? Please attempt and submit for marking. Thank you. Thank you and be blessed. Thank you and be blessed.